What are collaborative robots and how are they affecting human work and work organization? In this video, I will give you the top three challenges and opportunities that emerge with the implementation of collaborative robots based on the results of several industrial case studies, which my co-authors and I presented in a research paper published in mid-2018. So the concept of Industry 4.0 and the idea of this smart, interconnected, digitalized, highly automated factory has introduced many new digital technologies, which has also resulted in many changes in human work and organization. One of the more tangible technologies that is affecting human technology or human-machine interactions is collaborative robots, which is also referred to as cobots. So cobots are a new generation of robots that are born free and unbounded by any type of fencing or enclosure and transcending the boundaries and workspace limitations that prevented their ancestors, the standard industrial robots, from cohabitating and working side by side but with their human counterparts. And cobots are typically equipped with sensors and are highly responsive to the detection of unexpected force, which gives them the ability to stop immediately when encountering human workers or any misplaced objects that is in their path. This makes them highly reliable colleagues when it comes to workplace safety in comparison to the standard industrial robots. While most people connect cobots to this new wave of digitalization of manufacturing and Industry 4.0, the concept of a collaborative robot dates back to 1996. However, the cobots from back then and the ones we are accustomed to right now is quite different. While today's cobots are very similar to traditional industrial robots with the additional ability to work with human workers without any enclosure, the first generation of cobots did not have motors and they were also very passive in the plane of operations and had brakes. Now, let's jump into the challenges of these cobots. The first challenge is that cobots are not reflective. So, while cobots are sensitive to contact and safe to work with, they still lack the flexibility of their human colleagues and their ability to improvise, adapt, and overcome. They can be programmed to perform detailed tasks with precision, but their lack of ability to detect abnormalities such as variation in raw material or correct placement of a component is making them less flexible when you compare them to the human workers. This disadvantage of the cobots is leaving the workers who are working with the collaborative robots with the responsibility of ensuring the quality of the work that the cobots are performing. The next challenge of these cobots is assigning them with the right tasks, meaning the company's inability to find the right task for a cobot. Cobots might be more affordable compared to these standard industrial robots, but they are still coming with a price tag that is considerable for most small and medium-sized enterprises. When a company is acquiring a cobot, they usually have a specific task in mind, which they want the cobot to occupy. But since the technology is relatively new and untested, the implementation and achieved results might not always turn out as expected. In these situations where it is not possible to use the cobots as intended, the company has to make a decision that can justify their investment in the technology and try to utilize the cobot and other human cobot collaboration tasks in the company, which can be very difficult. The third challenge was that the cobots can hit the workers. Sharing a workplace with a non-human entity that is able to roam free in a fixed pattern without any enclosure is a relatively new type of setup. It will require an adjustment of movement patterns, behavior, and ways of thinking before these workers can start feeling comfortable working alongside these cobots. Additionally, these cobots are only as safe as the tools they are equipped with. So if a cobot is operating and controlling a sharp or pointy object, for example a knife, being hit by the cobot's force detecting arm would be the least of a worker's problem. Now, let's look at the opportunities that these cobots are creating when they are being implemented into an industrial work system. So the first opportunity these cobots are creating is they are enabling job enrichment. Cobots are taking away repetitive and trivial manual work away from workers and leaving them with more time to spend on other and more potentially value-creating activities. Because of their flexibility and quick learning ability, the workers are able to occupy new functions and take on new roles and responsibilities which they previously did not have the opportunity or time for. When acquiring a cobot and developing a collaborative solution, typically most companies aim at 
a solution where the cobots can take over around 60 to 80 percent of a given task, which in most cases are the repetitive and trivial parts of the job. This will of course leave the workers to perform the rest of the remaining and more mentally demanding parts of the job. Seen from the company's perspective, this is a great opportunity to utilize their workforce more efficiently and assign new tasks and responsibilities to the workers. The second opportunity is that the implementation of cobots can result in improved workflow and continuous production. Human robot teams are much more efficient compared to teams consisting of humans only, and this is due to the fluency of the collaborative effort where the cobots is performing the repetitive and physically demanding tasks while the workers is taking care of the more flexible and higher variation parts of the tasks. This continuity enables companies to add additional work shifts consisting of fewer workers that are collaborating or attending to the cobots. Previously, having several work shifts might not have been as profitable for many small and medium sized companies and this is because these companies they have limited resources and might not afford having several employees working several shifts to produce an output equal to the same setup with cobots and last but not least the last opportunities that these cobots are creating is that they are taking away repetitive tasks so these cobots are taking away repetitive tasks from the workers and it is having a considerable effect on the physical working conditions and the workers well-being so the good thing here is that the workers are getting rid of the physically demanding tasks and the decision makers at the companies will most likely be pleased to have healthy and well-functioning workers that can perform optimally for many years to come. And even though economic related factors may be the driving force behind investment in cobots, the cobots ability to improve physical work conditions and their contribution to a better and healthier work environment is one of the most essential opportunities that they create. So there you have it. These are the top three challenges and opportunities that we found through some explorative case studies in industrial companies who had implemented their collaborative robots successfully. If you are interested in reading the full article, there is a link in the description that will take you there. So do you agree or disagree with these challenges? Have you experienced something else? If you have, or if you want to have an open discussion, whatever, just leave a comment in the comment section. And for more videos like this, press the subscribe button.